this tutorial on how to play Say It First by Sam Smith. We're in standard tuning, there's no capo. I'll be teaching you the chords for the verse, the chorus, and the pre-chorus. So we need a C chord, and we need a G with the root and the B, an A minor, an F open chord, and an E. So if you already know how to play those chords, you can go ahead and skip ahead to later in the video where we're talking about the chord progression versus the chords, but for now I'll be teaching you the chords. So we're going to start with a C chord, your index is on the 1st fret of the P string, middle finger is on the 2nd fret of the D, ring finger is on the 3rd fret of the A, play those 5 strings for your C chord. For the B, the G slash B, we're just going to play with our index finger on the 2nd fret of the A string, and you're just going to play those 4 strings. And if you'd like to play all 5 strings, you can add your middle finger or your ring finger to the third fret of the high E. For the A minor, you're going to have the same thing as the C chord, but you're going to lift your ring finger up back to the second fret of the G, and you're still just playing those five strings. For the F open chord, you're going to have your index on the first fret of the B, middle is on the second fret of the G, ring fingers all the way up on the third fret of the A, and your pinkies on the third fret of the D. You can just play those four strings, you can play that high E if you'd like to. Um, and then finally for the E chord, your index is on the first fret of the G string, so one string up from the B. Your middle finger is on the second fret of the A, ring finger is on the second fret of the D. And you can play all six strings there. So those are all the chords you need to know. Now we're going to jump right into the verse. So the verse starts out with a C chord. And I like to play the A, G, and the B. So you pick those. And then we're going to transition to our G slash B. So you can put your middle finger or your index on the second fret of that A. And play the same notes. So the G, the A, G, and B strings. And then transition right back to your C. So it sounds like this. Two, three, four, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. And then next we're gonna go back to a that G root B chord, but instead of transitioning back to the C, we're gonna transition to an A minor. And then we're gonna finish out with an F. So all together that sounds like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, back to your G slash B. Transition to the A minor. Two, three, four, F, two, three, four. And that's the chord progression for the verse. I'm gonna go ahead and play that twice for you here. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. C, two, three, G, C. Okay, so that is the verse. Next up, we're gonna play the chorus, or the pre chorus actually, and that sounds like this. So we have an A minor, and our strumming goes like this down, 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 up, down, 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 up to our G chord, down, down. F chord, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, E. And for that G chord, your middle finger is on the third fret of the low E string. Okay, so doing that fluently here. One, two, three. Okay, so that's the pre-chorus, and then now all we need to know how to do is play the chorus. So the chorus is like this. Okay, so 
that chord progression is different than the pre-chorus, but we can use the same strumming pattern. So we're going to start in our C chord, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, through A minor, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, through G, to the F. Okay, for the second measure, it changes up slightly. We go C to an E chord to an A minor to an F and to a G. And then to finish the chorus, it goes C that B, G, B, C, back to the G, Ruby, and then it runs back to the verse, so this part where it goes, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, so that's the verse, the chorus, and the pre-chorus. Let me run through the whole chorus so you can hear that real quickly. A minor to a G to an F back to a C down to an E to an A minor to an F So that's it. That's all I'll be teaching you for this tutorial. I went through that quickly, so if you have questions, go ahead and comment below. If you'd like to see more tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.